SGC here and we are back for final impression for Strangers Season 1. So I'm calling it Season 1 because if you go and check out the studio that produced this show, Studio Dragon, on the Wikipedia page it does say Strangers 2, but there's no links, there's no source, so I would hold my breath. But anyways, back to this. Holy smokes. 16 episodes, and I guess if you're new to the whole Korean TV stuff, 16 actually apparently is your average episode count. So when I walked into this, I was like, hmm, 16, kind of long. What's up? And granted, I would say 16 is long, but I feel like it gave more time for you to learn and grow with these characters. Because seriously, this stems from a really small little thing and it grows and it grows and you find out all these like facets of like this person's connected to that through this and that and it's just great to find out how it happens and with 16 episodes there is enough time for them to really make things happen in a way where it doesn't feel rush granted there is slow moments but you get to know characters so i rather that than have fast-paced stuff and not learn about anybody i really enjoy the entire cast no real issues. The story character arcs is interesting as some characters really go through a very crazy change by the end of the series. Not too many people, but we, you get to know like just who is who. Um, the twist that happens, I did not really expect it because they sort of set you up for something else and then, and then another thing happens and you're like, whoa. So, 16 episodes, how did I feel? I enjoyed it. So if you have read mystery novels or thrillers, sometimes it feels like they just have things happen so then the case is solved. But here is such an organic way where if you heard of Hanning Madkol, a Swedish writer who all of his series always are solved by a very random luck of a draw type of way but it makes sense because everything is so dire you don't know what's going to happen and it keeps you on your toes and with strangers here it is like that you you have the initial murder case and and then a crazy assault and then all this sort of accumulates to who is the real bad guy who can we trust and then we get introduced new characters throughout the season and you're like why were they introduced now what what sort of bearing do they have to the story and then as you learn more and layers and layers are peeled back and you're like whoa this is such a crazy thing and i really enjoy that organic way of narrative and what else is there to say i mean i really took a I took a binge watch here i had other stuff i was watching dark but i was just like nope i gotta finish strangers because i want to know i love the cast chemistry too we have our lead who is medically induced so that he doesn't have empathy and for him to sort of like respond and build up to all the stressors in his life and then you have the cop partner who's just taking it easy but serious at the same time just like i love their foiling and i love how they react to things i really enjoyed this series i have no qualms really 16 episodes give or take could have been knocked down probably two or three 13 i think would have been the best for me anyways in terms of actual pacing because there are really dragged out parts and you seem like where is it going but i feel like that's sort of the idea where you feel helpless and you feel how the characters are feeling in the sense where the case isn't going anywhere where the new lead is going to come from there isn't any and what are you going to do after that and i sort of enjoy that sort of dire but it's frustrating and i think like that helps that lends itself well i mean even if you had 16 episodes where it's chock full of content and it was just stretched and like packed and things are happening all the time you wouldn't feel that helplessness here so yeah i enjoyed strangers i would definitely be on the lookout for more netflix stuff baduna is also in kingdom which is an upcoming netflix produced korean drama so i'll definitely check that out and there's other korean stuff on netflix right now but i just want to see what's like netflix what is like attracting netflix to strangers i am still wondering who or like how did they come to the conclusion that yes we're gonna simulcast this series i mean granted it is good but at the same time it's like was it that good for netflix to drop that much money on it instead of saying producing something else or what have you but I don't know. I mean, granted, I'm glad they did this because then it got my attention and they're like, I have to check it out because Netflix did this. So I checked it out and I enjoyed it. 
and I'll definitely be on the lookout for more Netflix produced Korean drama and just even the cast I'll just check out where they're gonna do and what they're gonna go next anyway that's it strangers 2 I think there is space for it. I don't know what's going to happen. In terms of speculation, it's less of a of a, um, our main lead being, is he the good guy or a bad guy? Granted, in the beginning, you get more of that. But as the story goes, you feel more focused. But that took a big part of the narrative. So if we do get a season two, what's going to happen? Are we going to get his partner that's super dirty and just flip-flops all the time? Or what's going to go down? And are we going to have such a tension-building sort of corrupt system because now everyone's sort of thrown out and then what's gonna happen now i do look forward to whatever so yeah that's it for this final impression for strangers season one out